Bright Lights has hit the streets. Packs are being cracked and limited play is on the menu. Now, as we go through the next few months, cracking the new stuff and drafting or CSPing your way through the new set, we all know how it goes. We generate an awful lot of chaff. All those commons and at a certain point, even the rares start piling up. Now, hopefully they end up in your LGS's donation boxes instead of the recycle bin. But with this set being a decent entry point for new players, I'm going to challenge you and your community to take the chaff bin up a notch. Today, I'm presenting three lists that can be built entirely with your chaff from Bright Lights with the intent to be given away to prospective players. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando. Hey there, Flesh and Blood friends, and welcome back to Dice Commando and Go Again, a fabulous cast, where today I'm challenging you and your playgroup to up your game this set when it comes to your LGS's chaff box. Now, Evo is a limited focus set, so lots of folks I know are planning on collecting via playing limited formats versus just simply cracking boxes at home. And this means a lot of so-called draft chaff, the cards that we need to use while playing limited, but once the term is done, well, how many copies of a common do you really need? As such, most stores and communities have donation boxes, so-called chaff boxes. Now, I believe that Evo is the best opportunity we've seen since Uprising to build with inset self-contained intro decks with our chaff. Now, you're saying right now, well, Andrew, the set doesn't have any AB. Its equipment's really lacking for the non-Evo heroes, and these decks will only really be playable against each other. Now, let's be clear, that assessment is absolutely correct. If a player wants to take one of these intro decks from this set and really play, it will require tricking out from outside of the set. So then why specifically focus on this set? Well, the benefit I see is that a new player can largely focus their entire sealed product purchases on this set alone and do so while enjoying limited play, which gives at least the perception of a more even playing field. To that end, I've built an intro deck kit of sorts that you can use to help turn that chaff into intro decks. The link to the PDF file is in the comments and please feel free to download and distribute as desired. The intro kit contains six card images, one list, and one description card for each hero in bright lights. Likely the most attractive deck of the three is a Max Nitro Boost-focused aggro deck. Boost, use his ability, crank, and then swing Banksy. It's pretty easy to pick up and opens the door to a lot of really neat possibilities as your new player dives deeper and deeper into what bright lights has to offer. This deck also has the advantage of being nearly all EVO focused, with the exception, obviously, of wanting to pick up some of the ARC boost cards and some gear, which hopefully they can also find in your chaff box, or pick up as donations from amongst your playgroup. The database dash deck is also really pretty straightforward overall, relying heavily on the boost mechanic. Where this deck differs, though, is the use of her ability effectively as a combat trick. With a full spread of boomsticks, the idea is to catch the opponent off guard with an unblocked attack that now hits for way more than when you instant in the boomstick. It also includes the rare item penetration script, which gives all of your attacks plus one. Instant this in as a combat trick or just play it outright. Your newbie should also be able to pretty easily see the upgrade paths available to this deck as they start looking at all of the mech items available in the previous sets. Help them get some additional arc boost cards and some gear and they'll be off boosting in no time. This is also a great transition into OG dash if they want to explore that option. For both the max and the dash decks, the sideboard cards are there to act as poppers if needed or to supply more blues. But remember, with no AB available in this set, you'll have to help them get what they need as they start to explore elsewhere. The Teklavasan deck is really for new players that are coming from other games and are primarily comfortable with control-based backgrounds. This deck involves trying to block and survive while becoming more than human and equipping evos, which makes the Teklo leveler better as well as the attack actions stronger and more efficient. This deck also contains a lot more rares, a necessary evil in this case given the card pool of evo-based attack actions. That will make this harder to build, but again, given that this should be the least used of the three, hopefully your stock can support it. This deck has plenty of blues and plenty of sixes, putting them in a decent starting spot into a wider meta, once of course they have the AB equipment they'll need. The max deck and the dash deck are not only easier to build with less rares, but also likely the easier ones to teach and play, being very boost focused. That said, offering the more than human option I felt was very essential. Anyways, that'll do it today. Best of luck as you continue to open product. And again, I'm leveling the challenge to you and your playgroups to step up your game in this set and see if results follow. As always, my friends, go Commando.